Hey students, it's looking at a review this week of your book and I thought it would be good for me to do two things, to pull the book up and to pull the weeks up. Give you a quick overview of what you're looking at. Next week is the exam. So really this week we're just reviewing content and next week you've got the exam. Let's dive in and take a look. All right, first thing I'm gonna start off is the weeks. Really our exam for the second part of the book begins at the Weiss book chapter seven, closing the sale. Uh, as we move through the weeks, we're talking about week eight here. Uh, as you go to week nine, um, you've got information from week nine. And so really it's week eight on, that's after your last exam. Let's go over here to the Weiss book and it was really called Closing the Sale. And so as you look through this chapter, uh, there's a couple of areas that I think are important. We've kind of gone through some of those and as far as closing the sale. Uh, he talks about the uh, items of terms, you know, setting out different options. Uh, he talks about acceptance as we go through here. Uh, when buyers go dark, what to do? They weren't even a buyer. You read the wrong signs. And so this is a big one here, I think, is when buyers go dark, what might be the deal? And so he's got them laid out here uh, through eight or nine items. And so anyway, those are things I think you'd be uh, able to, to kind of be aware of. Um, as far as uh, going through, the next is chapter eight, paying the mortgage, how to establish fees. And so he kind of goes through, uh, whoops, my mouse got me off here. So he goes through establishing fees. This is an important part I think you should work on as well. He talks about fee formulas. Um, and so he goes through these different examples, which is important to look at. I think um, factors to consider when you are establishing uh, your fees. And so he's got a return on investment here, I think is pretty important as well. And then he talks about uh, building collaborations. So anyway, that's chapter eight. Chapter nine, moving on up, he starts to talk about the growth cycle a little bit. Um, and so... Uh, he talks a little bit about here about these watertight doors, and I don't know, a lot of that's kind of weird. But as you move through this chapter, um, I like this, passive income alternatives. This is really important for you to think about uh, in your own business, is how can you build ways for an effort you have to earn money after you quit focusing on it? And so anyway, passive income Alternatives is a spot I really think you should pay attention to in this chapter, and he gives some examples of what those might be. Uh, it talks about working globally, the importance about traveling and and being able to kind of be able to to uh, to move around and meet people. All right, so chapter ten, living the dream. He talks about building your brand. That's in a very important spot here. So make sure you go through there. He talks about brand equity. Um, and building that brand value. So I think you ought to take a look at that. Um, talks about the association of peers, talks about managing your presence on the internet, um, talks about uh, elevating your brand, goes through here and kind of has a, a little matrix of you know when people just become your buddy to a trusted advisor. And so those are things that you do have to think about is who do you surround yourself with and that's what he's kind of laying out here for you. Um, let's see here. Uh, most of that goes there. And so that really wraps up. Now the appendix, I had a spot of the weeks where you should read through this appendix. He has some good guidelines and he really summarizes some key points. This is important. Qualifying the prospect, finding the economic buyer. Uh, he's going through and reviewing some of the sections of each book and talking about some value pieces, kind of summarizing the work. All right, so those are important parts of the appendices to go through and look at. And so that's what I wanna make sure that I showed you. All right, back to the weeks. That's the book. Here are the content areas each week. Now, I had some extra things in here, like financial planning. So financial planning has a little bit to do with retirement planning, but I think it's an important part for you to have some knowledge of. So make sure that you look through these steps as far as what are the steps to building a retirement plan, a little bit about present value and future value, a little bit about rates of inflation, a little bit about 
how much uh, you might be able to earn, estimated earnings. Now, having a few of those things just in your knowledge bank would be good. And how do you do retirement planning? And so that's kind of uh, something I think that would be good for you to look through. And that's in week 10. Uh, I don't have a lot of extra stuff in these weeks. Um, sales and consulting articles, there they are. Uh, how consultants project expertise in learning at the same time. There's a Harvard case study right there. And there's another uh, item here that is also, I think, Harvard case study. So those are two articles that are extra. They're outside of the book, but I wanted to make sure that I pointed those out to you. All right, so really week 13 is just a review of the, the chapters in the books, and hopefully there's something you can use to get ready. The test will be next week. Uh, I'll release it uh, probably on Tuesday, and it will be due by the end of the day on Wednesday, but more to come out on that. It'll be an online test. I will actually be face-to-face -face, uh, in the class uh, next week uh, in Kingsville, so you could ask me some questions, but that's what we'll plan to do is release the test on Tuesday, have all of Tuesday to take it, and all of Wednesday, and it'll close. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps in your review of this week. Again, for the test next week.